How did I get up here? I'll tell you how. <laughs> Extremely carefully. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we restored the village and we also restored the souls of the villagers to their bodies. This episode, we're going to be taking up Isun on his offer to give us a tour of the village and so we can get to know the villagers that we saved twice, o twice over a little bit more. Uh, we are also going to be getting a few collectibles, nothing nothing that is required for 100%, but we're going to be getting a term that I would like to coin, sellables, this episode. Also, we'll be going a little bit more into praise, because there's a lot to be had today. So, uh, first, I didn't want to try- ooh, I didn't want to try this till I was actually recording, but I want to try to get to that beam right there. And, I think by just doing this- oh, uh, okay. Well- if you guys can do that, tell me, because I want to know if it's possible. Anyway, uh, we have some birds right here, which is an excellent way place to start, and that is birds. So, if we press Z, we can feed them, and we can use our feed bag, which we acquired last episode. So, let's go ahead and feed them with seeds, and get something that would make an excellent screensaver. Inner peace. Inner peace. Yeah, this this will go on forever, literally forever, until well, uh, until your Wii dies. So, yeah, you just want to skip this. Although, if you want a nice screensaver, something put up on your TV, then by all means, record this and and put it up on your TV when you have company over. Spend 200 hours watching this. You could probably put it on infinite loop as well, so you wouldn't have to wait for your Wii to die. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and press skip. Okay, so by feeding birds, you'll see that we amass four preys. Every little bit counts, and so now we have 24. Now, we're going to start with this villager of all of them, because not only this, is this guy closest to where we ended it off last episode, but also, look at him. He has a pot for a head, or a jug. So, I'm, I, I'm trying to think of a pun that would work for him, but it's nothing's coming to me. So let's talk to him. Ah, I feel it. I sense it. Foul beasts dwell in this place. Concentrate. Look hard. You see, right behind you now. And immediately we'll be thrown into battle. Now, you want to do this as fast as possible. You want to be prepared for this. So you want to line up all the imps and power slash them all in one go. Then you want to hit two of them and then finish them off with a power slash. Get the floral finisher and finish this one off with power slash. Get all the demon fangs and all the treasure to be had. And there we are. We got uh, best on time and best on damage. Now, you want to do this battle correctly or else he will not say this. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 8 seconds. Hmm, you fight well. I have chosen the path of, Bu of Buddha, but, you, but in you I sense another power. And I see the path you have chosen is also the path of truth. And he will get seven praise from him. Really, talking to talking to NPCs is the best way to get praise. Because they'll have side quests. They'll ask you to just do small favors. So you want to talk to people. Also, this guy it will be important later. Because by talking to him now and performing well in battle, uh, he will... Well, that basically unlocks side quests later on in the game. So, while he only gives you 7 praise now, he is preparation for getting a lot more praise later. So you want to talk to him and do his challenge. Now, onward. Uh, that island's been taunting, uh, taunting me for a while, so I want to go jump into the water and swim to it. I can't jump from here, but I can jump from this shore and then swim. Now, you'll see a meter above Ami's head, and that is how long you can swim without drowning. So you want to mash the A button and get there as fast as possible. Also, you want to jump before going in the water so that you will uh, start the meter running later. So we can hit this and get a dragonfly bead. Uniquely shaped bead that shines in multiple layers of color. So this is what I was talking about, sellables. Also, it's becoming nighttime, so I will draw the sun. There we go, I'm surprised that registered. And we can extend the day a little longer. So with sellables, you can sell them at a shop and get a lot of money for them. So you definitely want to take uh, t 
take time out of your schedule to do so. Now, uh, I will be not getting, I won't be getting every sellable in the game, just because there are a lot of them, and I don't even know if there's a guide that covers them. And also, they're not required for 100%. I will be getting as many as I can, just from memory and from exploration, but I won't be getting all of them, because that's insane. Okay, uh, there's something I've been wa I've been meaning to point out for a long time, and that is this. I know this is a tad random, but doesn't that look like a turtle shell? It does. It totally does. I've been wanting to point that out since the very first or second cutscene, and so now that I have, let's go ahead and power slash it as I can cross that out of my checklist. There we go. And by doing that, that will actually give you something. If I can grab it, it will give you a Kamiki orange. This juicy orange is the pride of Kamiki. Phil's astral pouch. And there you are. You get a food. Now you'll notice there, it didn't say it It fills, it fills the astral pouch a little bit. It just said simply, it fills the astral pouch. And that's because there is different types of food, no duh, in this game. I mean, th of course there are just like turnips and stuff like that. But there are also, um, there are also different categories of food. There are four, four tiers that food can fall under. There can be Phil's Astro Pouch a little bit, which will feel it, fill it just one, one, uh, unit. There is Phil's the Astral Pouch, where it'll fill it two units, I believe, and that's what the, uh, the Kamiki Orange did. And then there is Phil's the Astral Pouch a good deal, and... I'm not sure exactly how much that fills it, but we'll find out. Um, and then also there is fills the astral pouch completely. Yes, there are food items that do this. There are only a, there are only a couple that do, and they're pro they're really rare. So we are not going to be seeing them for a while. Now, what I want to point out is this field. You can dig up these these uh, turnips, I believe, for some food. But what I want to do is I want to dig this up. You'll see there's a treasure chest right there. You can barely see the top of the handle. And so you can dig it up. And it contains a dragonfly bead. Now, she will actually take offense at you digging in her field. So she will try to slug you. So you want to run away. It does no damage, but it, it is annoying. So just go ahead and run away and she won't bother you. So uh, once she calms down, we can talk to her. There we go. Let's talk to her. Believe me, you don't want me to thump you. I'm not a nasty woman, though. Thumpin's as far as it goes. Okay, and the music's still playing. Music. Thank you. Oh, that was getting annoying. Okay, uh, next thing. Uh, we can go in this house, but there's actually something we, we want to do in that house later, and it's not available to us yet, so I'll be waiting to cover that house until a little bit later. This house is... Wait... This house... Uh, we can go in this house. So, in this house, uh, I'm not sure exactly what is in here. Uh, any food? There's money, which we can steal, I guess. I, I w I'm covering everything in this village, so you're not going to be seeing much story progress, because I'm going to be talking to every villager. No, if his mama catches you snacking, she'll clobber you good. <laughs> that is funny. So this is her house, okay. Can I power slash the candle? Yes I can, and it is put out. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything for us in this room, just some nice text. Alright, let me go and talk to this child which is running around. Now, this guy's interesting, because look at him. He has a dragonfly on a leash, and he's dragging it around. Can we we can bite him. In fact, that's something I should go over. There are eh, I'll wait, I'll wait a second for that. Hmm? A white wolf? Now that's just plain weird. Thanks. Sure looks like a weak little bugger. Thanks again. Sheesh. Ungrateful much. We saved his life. Think you could beat my dog Hayabusa? Well, listen to this. There's this field my mom attends to, you see. Well, Hayabusa managed to dig up nine turnips in a row, even though my mom was chasing him around trying to slug him. There are actually ten turnips in that field. Hayabusa is fixing to get all ten. 
Okay, when a triangle like that appears above a person's head, that means they have more to say. So press Z again, and we can talk to them even more, and they'll say different things. Think you, you think you can dig up all ten turnips in my mama's field? Don't forget, you'll have to avoid being slugged by my mama. He says my mama a little bit too much. I'll admit you're the better canine if you can do it. Ugh, she's gonna try and slug us? Not exactly my idea of a good time, mommy. But at least you have your celestial brush and wicked brush stroke. And he has nothing more to say, meaning that we should probably do what he wants, and that is dig up all the turnips. This is sort of like a mini game, and it does actually have a good reward, so you want to do that. Go ahead and mash C, and she will start chasing after you as soon as you dig up the first turnip. And it fills Astro Pouch, okay. Uh, now she'll try to slug you, so what you can do is power slash the pot on her head, and it will slow her down a few seconds. Alternatively, you can power slash her, though it won't slow her down for much for much time at all. Now, if you're worried about uh, using up all your ink, if you're really low on ink when she's after you, you can actually just draw on her, draw directly on her. It won't use up any ink, but it will slow her down a little bit. It slows her down longer than just power slashing her body, but not quite as long as power slashing the pot on her head. So, if you're bad with aiming the brush to power slash the pot, then you can alter alternatively do something better than just simply power slashing her by drawing on her. And of course, it saves ink, so you might want to do that more, because it, it's better. Alright, so we can grab this, and let me go and power slash her pot and dig more and there we go from this we will get a red turnip which we actually have to manually pick up so don't let that take you by surprise you don't automatically pick it up so with that in paw we can talk to Mushi and prove that we're the better canine you offered oddly shaped turnip hey that's that's the oddly shaped turnip Hayabusa and I've been looking for that means I have too, entirely too much time on my hands. Or, I mean, you've broken Hayabusa's record by digging up all ten turnips. Aw, oh, man! Fine. You're the better canine. Anyway, it actually feels good to have a new goal to aim for. And we'll get seven praise from that. And this is Hayabusa right here. And we can bark, and it will scare him or her. I'm guessing him. It'll scare him. But we can also do something that I really like. You can bite this dog and carry this dog around. Dragging its tail and, like, back on the ground. Suddenly, like, why can I, why can I do this? The dog is huge. Like, the dog is almost as big as Ami, yet I can just carry it around. It's funny. Also, when you're bored of it, you can just throw the dog away. Boop. And it will fall down. And run away from you. And then bark at you. Okay, so that's done. Now that we have 70, no, 38 praise, we can talk to this woman. You don't need this many praise to do it. I'm not trying to say that. But you can talk to this woman, which I mentioned this woman was very interesting back when she was a statue. And now that she has a pulse, as Isun puts it, we can talk to her and see how exciting she might be. And also, I can, I can splash her with water. There we go. Okay, let me go and talk to her. A white wolf? Now that's a rare sight. Did you come down from the mountains just to play with us? Wolves don't play, they eat. I'm surprised she's not screaming in terror. Well, you better be careful, dear. Lately, some monsters have been attacking the villagers. Do you even know who you're talking to, Grandma? This here's Shirnui Reborn. The wolf and I have it covered. Those monsters are history. Well, if it isn't Isun, and riding a wolf, are we? This one certainly resembles Shirinui, especially the nose. Hmm, well, I'd better get back to my work. Mumble, mumble, kids won't help me these days. Too busy catching dragonflies. Okay, and she has more to say. Here, uh, here to listen to the ramblings of an old woman, are you? Well, I was doing the laundry, but when it was ready to dry, I noticed my drying pole was gone. So I just continued to, dr to wash the laundry until, magically, a drying pole would spawn, or... Or wh whatever shall I do? And she has even more to say. Very talkative woman. Where did that pole go? How could something important like that just disappear? Hmm. She's missing something that should be there, is she? You better help her out, Furball. Alright. 
So that is our quest objective. We have to get her a new, dry, uh, new drying pole. Now, instead of actually searching for it to see where it might have gone, we can use the power of rejuvenation to draw her a very, very, very thick drying pole. Like a log. There we go. Nice. And it's actually bamboo. A new drying pole? Oh my, where did that come from? The gods must have answered my prayers. How wonderful. Time to dry the laundry. And she has more to say, because we haven't gotten praise yet, so she must have more to, for us to do. Well, I'm glad I was able to hang my laundry, but the sun seems to be so far away these days. Maybe it doesn't like all those monsters that are lurking around. If only it would shine closer. My laundry would dry in a second. And she has more to say. My laundry would dry in a jiffy if the sun would just shine closer. You heard the lady. She wants the sun. Time to use you know what. Apparently, our brush cannot be met. Our tail cannot be mentioned in the presence of the elderly. It's just that cool that they would die of a heart attack. And yes, it is our tail that is the brush. I've gone over that before. Also, I love how it flops around. It's so cute. But you can see like the tip of the tail is black because it has ink on it. So that's that's neat. And there's a hawk up there. Can I power slash it? Oh, okay. Well, let me go ahead and draw the sun. Maybe. Uh, tip for drawing the sun. If any of the land is... When you draw the sun, if the land is touching the brush, it may... Or the circle that you draw, the, the sun probably won't come. So you want to draw it, draw it completely in the sky like so. And also going to first person view really helps out with that. My word! My brain is melting because of all the radiation from that sun. I mean, the sun is drawn, suddenly drawn so close. My laundry will be bone dry in no time. Also, your brain matter. First my pole, and now this? Will the miracles never cease? Maybe I ought to make some cherry cakes to offer to the sun. Come back tonight if you want some too, Snowball. No one makes better cherry cakes. They're, they're mouth-watering good. And we get another seven praise. So we have 45 praise, which is very good. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this woman over here who is in a rice patty. So... Aww. She's petting Ami. Wow, we didn't even need to talk to her for to, her to be nice. Let me draw a circle on her. And she will pet Ami again. Look at that. So cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to her. Well, what a fine looking wolf. What's your name? Mine's Kushi. It's a pleasure to meet you. And you know she's important because it says Sake Brewer. Kushi. Working in the fields again, are ya? Isun, are you and the wolf together? This is where I grow the rice for making my sake, you know. But I have to manage to harvest all on my own. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susano give me a hand this again this year. Oh, listen to me blabbering on. I just can't help chatting to you. Uh, that's a typo right there, because it should say chatting with you. Well, I guess because Ami's not chatting back, chatting to you works. So never mind, it's not a typo. Why, Ami, I think you found a friend here. You'll meet many people who want to talk to you like this. You should talk to them two or even three times. Being a god and all, you can actually tell when to talk because you, you'll see a triangle above their head. That means they still have something to say. It might even be valuable information sometimes. They may just be muttering to themselves, but it pays to listen. Okay, so let's talk to her again. Susano's a neighbor of mine. He's a little unusual, but... He's, he goes around with his huge sword slung over his shoulder. He's always practicing with it. They say he's a direct descendant of our legendary hero, Nagi. And he loves his sake, too. He often pops around here to buy it. And she has more to say. Make sure you say hello when you see Susano. He could use a friend, I should think. He's always on his own. And that is all she has to say. Now... I've been waiting to talk to her before we can go in this house. Also, there is a watermelon here that we can power slash and get watermelons out of. And it fills Astro Pouch, which is good. Uh, we're almost halfway halfway to filling Astro Pouch completely, which I like. So, with, with that... Oh, wait, we can examine this. Huh? You plan on drinking some sake or something? Okay, I didn't know that was there. Uh, let's go inside. You will you inside, right by the door, you'll get some bales of rice, which they just filled the astro pouch, so that's nice. 
And we are halfway. This is must be this must be where she ages the sake. Smells good, doesn't it? And this is where I get to explain what sake is. Uh, it's actually very simple. Also, also, you can power slash this wall and get stuff. Sake is a Japanese alcoholic beverage. So, basically, she's the most popular person in town because she makes the sake from scratch, which is really neat. Okay, you can examine this, and this seems to be her clothes. Hmm, smells like her. Um, you, I'm going to take that as... There are two ways that we can take that. One is that Isun is kind of uh, creepy, but another way is the way I like to look at it, and that's the innocent way, and that is, since she makes sake, she must smell like sake, since everybody loves sake, of course her, her clothes would smell good. Let's go with that that meaning, because that that's the innocent way of meaning of looking at things, and I like to look at that way better. So there's nothing else in this room for us, so we can leave now. And actually, we can get this this uh, watermelon again, and get even more food, which is nice. Uh, now, in this river, before we cross, I would like to show you th a few things that are actually in the river, right here is our tr two treasure chests that you can power slash. You, you don't have to dive, in fact, there is no way to dive underwater in this game. So, what you have to do is you have to power slash these chests and the, their contents will float to the surface. And what isn't one of them is a rabbit statue. One of the 13 Zodiac creatures. Its expression is quite alert. And next is a... or multiple glass beads. That these beads show no cracks is a testament to the artist's skill. I believe we've gotten those before, but I wasn't sure. Alright, now there is one more treasure to be had, and that is in here. Jump over here, and there is another treasure chest below the surface of the water. There's also a, a statue of a horse, which is interesting. And it has a bale of rice in it, which is even more interesting, interesting that someone s stored a bale of rice at the bottom of a river. Uh, whatever. Uh, it has a vase in it. There's a vase. Vase whose unique be beauty will surely out uh, uh, will surely outlast any flower. All right, that's that's charming. So now with these things in paw, we can cross the river. Let's go. Uh, we we want to go up this path first because there's something for us. And there's actually a lot of stuff for us up here, even though it doesn't look it. You want to talk to this guy, and I get to bring out my Vegeta voice, because I haven't used it in a long time, and it's something I should definitely stay in the practice of. Vegeta, hit it. Heave! Heave! This, this is weird. My mind really wants to shift this rock. But my body won't cooperate. It's like I'm made of lead. Could this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. And... This is his demonic possession. This is a red imp. These guys are not just normal imps. These are... Shamizen players. Because you can see that has a guitar. Now starting off the battle, uh, he's about to hit us. Oh man, um... Oh, okay. I want to line up these green imps and power slash them right off. I want to get rid of them first so I can focus on the red imp. So power slash. Oh man, I got hit. Oh wait, no I didn't. It seemed like I got hit anyway, okay. And and floral finish him and floral finish him. How did I not get hit there? Whoa, and there I got hit. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to just a normal you just want to attack them. And when they bring their co their shamisen to shield themselves, sh by the way, shamisen is a three-string guitar. It's Japanese guitar, sort of. When they bring it up to block, they will turn gray. When an enemy is gray, that means they are weak to power slash. So what you want to do is power slash him. He will lose the shamisen and become a regular imp. Now, his floral finisher, because he he is now a regular imp, he has the same floral finisher as a normal imp. Uh, when he, if you manage to kill him while he has the Shamizen, his floral finisher is not different. It is still Power Slash. Now, you will see something in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. It's a red symbol of a Matarasu. Now, what that means is that is that means we have one level of Godhood. Let me explain what Godhood is. 
there are three levels, well technically four, but there are three levels of godhood, and they are gained by, uh, by comboing enemies. The longer you, you have a combo, the, m the more chance, well, the more you combo enemies without getting hit, you will get more levels of godhood. Godhood is, well, it's sort of permanent, it doesn't, it doesn't dissipate after a battle, and what it does is, if you're hit, when you have a level of godhood, it will, instead of doing damage to you, just reduce your level of godhood by one, and make it so you are not, you do not take damage. So it's actually a nice thing of invincibility, and it, and it is created by you doing well in battles. This is what the the Traveler's Charm, which is what we got last episode, does. That raises my level of godhood by one. So there are three levels of godhood that I'm going to be covering right now. And yeah, so each consecutive level means that if you take a hit, if you had, say, level three godhood, which is the best, it'd be reduced to level two, and then one, and then zero, then you take normal damage. So that's really, really neat. So, uh, also, my Traveler's Charm, I do not want to use it now, this early in the game, because I can amass my Godhood without really having to need, uh, need items to do it, because the enemies are still fairly easy. So, I will be saving my Traveler's Charms until much later in the game when I actually might need them. Now, you accumulated praise. Whoa, Ami, you suddenly started glowing. That means your divine attributes can be enhanced. Well, you sure look excited. Here, let, I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a stab at enhancing your divine attributes. I'm going to open the fan menu where you can see your divine attributes. Use the praise you've accumulated to enhance any attribute you want. And now that we have 75 praise, because we got 30 from defeating the red imp, we can uh, level up something. Now, I personally want to level up beads, because as you can see here, I, while I did take damage, I haven't even lost one unit of solar energy. Plus, we're going to be getting more and more godhood, so I don't really need health right now. It will become a priority much later, but for now, I want to take a stab at upgrading ink pots. Because, you know, there are, there are techniques coming up that are ink expensive, so I want to have more ink. So, let's go ahead and spend 50 praise, and level it up. We now have four ink pots. Now you will see that the cost of upgrading an ink pot again has doubled. Every time you upgrade something, the cost of upgrading it increases. It doesn't double every time, but it does go up. So you can't just get like 400 praise and then max something out like this. It it actually kind of forces you to do more and more side quests because praise becomes more... You have to be sp more sparing with praise. So, with that out of the way and with four ink pots, let's go ahead and exit the fan menu. Well, is it all coming back to you or what? Huh? It's hard to see- it's hard to notice such a small enhancement. Oh, lighten up, Furball. This is one big step for the new and improved Amaterasu. Keep up the good work. Oh, I almost forgot. We better check, check in on that dude. I <laughs> check in. <laughs> ah, I feel as light as a feather now. Sadly, that doesn't make it any easier to shift this boulder. Who went and blocked the only path out of here anyway? There's no way I can get back to the city now. Say, Pup, your owner lives here in the village, right? So you must know that guy, Susano. Can you get him to come here? They say he's the descendant of the legendary hero, Nagi. If anyone can do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. So, we now have the, the arrow, and also, who in the world put this ro big rock here anyway? It's blocking the only road out of the village. Doesn't look like you can squeeze through anywhere. Besides, I don't even know if it's safe to leave the village yet. Well, I guess we could squeeze through there, but the game won't let us. Also, it's too high to jump over. Although, really, someone could just throw a, ro uh, a uh, rope right here and climb over. But it, it actually seems fairly thick. Like, there might be more rocks beyond this. So, anyway... That is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so guys so much for watching. And next episode, we will be going to see Susano. We'll be following this arrow and seeing if Susano can lend a hand for this merchant and for all the villagers to get supplies again. Also so we can leave, because we're, we're almost done with this village. 
for now. So, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And, real quick, I would like to address something. I know I'm drawing the outro out a little bit, but I would like to talk about something. Uh, during the next, I don't know, uh... Yeah, during the next three days, I'm recording this on Saturday, the last Saturday of the month of July. And, um, Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to be gone. So, it mon uh, Sunday through Thursday, I'm going to be gone. So... Any annotations that would have been put up during that time, so like the, the annotations for this video, for example, where it says, you know, next episode playlist, previous episode, or any of the first two episodes where it had the beads and I had the bead videos, those will not be created until I get back. So you will, be not, you will not be seeing annotations until Friday, the day before this episode comes out. So... It's a little bit too late for me to talk, be talking about this, but I felt like I should address it so that you guys know why I'm not responding to your comments and I'm not putting annotations on any of the videos. Also, I won't be ch changing the channel trailer. I'll just be using it on the f using the first episode as the channel trailer from now on. So you'll have to be logged in to see the current episode or just go to my videos. Just because the channel trailer is supposed to be for people who aren't subscribed so they can start the LP from the beginning, so I'm going to be leaving it on the first episode. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, also, none of the episodes of Okami will be put into the playlist until I get back, and I get back Friday. Um, I'm getting back on Thursday, technically, but it's like late at night, like 12 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock, so... I won't be able to edit things, I'm just going to go straight to sleep, and then next day I'm going to unpack and stuff, so... You will not be seeing things in playlists until probably Friday or Saturday, the day that this game, that this episode comes out. So you guys can understand why I've been quote unquote lazy. So with that out of the way, I'll see you guys next time for Okami. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. 45 subscribers, guys. 45. So cool. So I'm so pumped. Actually, there's one more thing. I'm really sorry about this, but I will cut back to when this. It is nighttime, and when it's nighttime, we're going to take up Mrs. Orange on her offer to give us cherry cakes because that has a sweet little Capcom reference that I'd like to point out. So, I'll see you guys at nighttime. In fact, it's already getting to be that. Be right back. Nighttime. Isn't it beautiful? Well, we're going to take up Mrs. Orange on her offer. Let's go to her house. I won't be cutting because I want you guys to see how beautiful it is at night. It's all blue and beautiful. I love nighttime. So let's go into their house. Alright, here it is. Now, before we get started, well, get started. We can grab these oranges, but also we can power slash this wall. And you'll see what I was talking about, about searching at, for chests at night. Did I mention that? 
Well, I'll mention it now. It's better to search for chests at night because this appears above buried chests, so it's really easy to find them. So, we can go ahead and dig, and there is a treasure in here. We'll go ahead and take their life savings, which are Coral Fragment, which is a Coral Fragment. Hunk of Coral said to have been brought from the Dragon Palace. Okay, we haven't been to such a place yet. Okay, uh, anything else? Just want to make sure. Power Slash... Wait. Power Slash... No, okay, nothing. Just a Spirit Globe, globe M. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to her. Or talk to him first. Ah, you're the unruly white wolf. That was quite a toss you gave me. Well, white one, I respect animals and their customs, but anyone who causes trouble in this village shall be dealt with harshly. You are a spunky little thing, aren't you? Hello, Mr. Orange. Still full of vim and vigor, I see. Say, aren't you that little troublemaker, Isun? If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Ah, uh, never mind. I've got better things to do. Mumble, mumble. Okay, uh, he has more to say. Did you notice that the sacred tree up on the hill in the village? She's known as Konohana. She's been worshipped as our guardian deity for ages now. But her flowers and fruit withered some time ago. What's more, I've had a, dread a dreadful dream last night. A giant monster appeared and swallowed up the whole village. Might be a sign of even worse things to come. I sure would like to see Konohana restored to her former glory. Oh well, troublemakers like you couldn't possibly understand. I'm too old for this! <laughs> now, if if you do that earlier in the game when he's sprawled out after you throw him, uh, Isun will say, respect your elders, which I, I missed that line. So, sorry about that. Now, let's talk to her, because she promised us nice things, so let's talk to her. Oh, I almost forgot. I promised you some cherry cakes, didn't I? I'll get you some fresh ones in a jiffy. You wait right there. And prepare for a Capcom reference, and also the most awesome way to make cherry cakes. Upsy daisy. Shun Goku Tatsu. Heaven. That's that's what that said. Phew. Take these with you, dear. They're best when they're fresh. Wow, that is one spry grandma. She makes cherry cakes by punching them. That's amazing. Cherry flavored sweet bean cake fills the astral pouch a good deal. So you want to come here because it fills it. Wow, okay. So if it fills it a good deal, it gives you 10. And we're almost on our way to a full astral pouch. Very nice. So, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.